This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone. So as I'm rendering the video of part one note uh, notes system, uh, I really want to announce that the code that I made is a little bit messy and it's not the best uh, explained. So in the second part, I'm going to be explaining everything that I did step by step. So even beginners can understand what's happening. And here is a quick showcase what you're going to be able to see in this first episode. So we are going to create notes. We can see the note, but when we enter the, when we exit the zone, the note is going to uh, disappear. And also we can make it disappear with tab. Here we can also make it disappear with tab. Here also. So we can have multiple notes and we can edit them by just dragging them into the level. We open the level. If we drag them like this here, we can see we can just edit them here. So uh, that's a quick uh, announcement before the video starts and good luck in the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the 10th episode of our horror course uh, tutorial. Uh, in this uh, tutorial we're gonna be talking how to create a notes which can be used to tell the story to the player. So you can interact with the player, you can tell him the story through the notes and it's pretty good mechanic to have in the horror games. So let's just start by opening our map 1 and from here we're just gonna start off by creating a new blueprint actor. And uh, if you remember, we made a BP interaction and we can just create child and call it BP notes. And from the BP notes, we can open it. And here we, for now we have nothing and we can just add a cube. Or actually, we can add a plane. We can edit it to be smaller. We can test how it looks in our map by dragging it in. And as we can see, it's kind of decent. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And we can add some text. And we just scale it down. This is all if you want, of course. And let's make it black and let's type note note and let's let's scale it down a little bit. And that should work. So we have a note right now. And what we can do is we can go to our event graph and we can uh, set is interactable to true, of course. And we can add variable called note text. Make it the string. And also we will make it instance editable. And I will show you why in a second. So we have a on interact here and when we interact we want to show the widget or the note. So we need to create a widget first and how are we going to do that? We're just going to go to the UI and create user interface interface, and create widget, call it VB note. So now that we created the widget group in note, we can go ahead and select fill screen to desired, add border. And the border is going to be used as our background in this case, and we're going to add some text to it. And we're going to change text color to black. And we're going to also put it as 12. And um, we're going to add some padding for the text, and you will see why. So we're going to add top 10, uh, right 10, 
left 10 and bottom 10. You will see in a second why are we doing that. So if we compile, compile and save, we can go ahead and go to our master UI. And we only have jump scare, as you remember, but it's hidden. And we're gonna create user, we are gonna set user created, and we're gonna get our node here. And let's make it a little bit bigger. And we can set it to anchor it to middle. Set to zero, position X and Y, and alignment to 0 0.5. And we can actually make it a little bit smaller and set this to zero again. Perfect, that's in the middle right now. And that should work like perfect. Uh, go to the video blueprint note. And now, you remember, we, we go to the uh, blueprint note actor that we just created. And uh, you remember this note text, we're just gonna call it note description. Compile and save. And in, in our main character, our HP character, we're just gonna add a string called note. Okay. So, now we have instance editable. You will see why we need it in a second. But we want to create <coughs> this text to be our uh, 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 desired text that we set in the editor. So how are we gonna do this? Uh, we're gonna get character reference that we first need to cast. So event construct cast uh, HP character uh, get player character. So we're getting our character here and promote to variable. Call it character ref. Okay, that should be good for now. So by creating that we get our character reference here and from this character reference we're gonna get note and the note is gonna be our text for the note. But how do we set up the note? Well, so on the interaction, on interact, we're gonna set to be, we're gonna set note. Oh, first we need to get character reference. And if you remember, we can get character reference since we just made it parent to our BP interaction, which casted already to our character reference, as you can see here. We already made a cast, so now every child that we make is gonna have this character reference here. And we want to set a note. But the note is gonna be a note description that we're gonna edit in the instance, in the editor. And we want to also copy character reference, get master UI, get will be note. Oh, actually, we need to go to the master UI. Um, and we need to set VB node as a variable. And visibility is going to be collapsed at the start. And here we're going to get get VB node. And we're going to set visibility to visible. Now we can go ahead and test it. So if we pull the BP nodes in the world here, we can set the text here, no description, I am behind you, boo, and we go ahead and play. If we press E, oh, what was that lag? Let's see if it repeats. Okay, that was on my PC. Uh, so we have a note. I'm behind you, boo. But the thing is we cannot get it off screen. So how are we gonna do this? Well, uh, I want to be able to remove it from screen by pressing uh, escape or tab actually. So I'm gonna set up that one in our my HP character. And we are simply gonna get tab key. I mean, just type tab key, sorry. And we're gonna get keyboard event tab. And when the tab is pressed, uh, oh, we need to get something else first. 
So we need to get reference to the BP nodes. We don't need to cast. We can just get actor from off class. Set up uh, BP nodes here. And we can just promote to variable. And now we have BP nodes without even casting. Uh, I was testing it before this video. So now we can call it uh, BP nodes. And now if we go down there and get pp nodes, we can access this variable, node on screen. So get node on screen. And if the node on screen is true, we want to uh, set vb node, get vb node, get master ui ref, get vb node. And we want to set visibility to be collapsed again. And the false, we want to create a string, nothing on screen. Okay, we will go and test it out. As you can see, we can remove it. And if we press tab, it doesn't work. But we can remove our node. We can also create it so when we leave the <coughs> when we leave the area around the node. So we will just go to our node, create a box collision. We'll make it a box make it a little bit bigger by scaling it so what this does actually is um, uh, we want to remove the node so we cannot walk through the level with our node open right so we're gonna add on command on component and overlap we will just get everything from there and set visibility to be collapsed. So let's test this out. So if we open our node and we leave, it's gonna... we cannot walk through the level with our node. And that's exactly what we want, because you don't want player walking around with node. So either you exit or you press tab. That works perfect. No, I'm not really... really uh, sure why this print string is not working but we're, we're just gonna leave it like this so uh, that should be working here we have our node let's see if we need to add something okay so now we can just uh, create we can duplicate it by holding alt and uh, left clicking to move so this note is gonna be whoa another note and we will create one more and call it this really works okay so now we can press play we can full screen it we have this okay it works I'm behind you boo Whoa, another note. Okay. This really works. Okay. And now we can go back to this. We can read it again. Read it again. But there is a small problem. As you can see, if we start the game and we press here on the second one, it doesn't work. But if we press on the first one, we can hide it. So what I want to do is uh, instead of creating a variable in BB note, I'm going to create it in my HP character. And call it note on screen and make it a boolean. Uh, not boolean, you can change everything here. And uh, we're gonna use the boolean here from the character. So we're just gonna delete this and get note on screen here. 
and in our BP nodes we're gonna get no screen from the character set no screen so you need character reference for this now perfect so now if we try should be working let's test it out so if we press tab nothing on screen if we press note we can remove let's try pressing the second one first that works that truly really works perfect so we can see it works now we can remove anything Note on screen is by default off. And this will work perfect. I will try to upgrade this system. I will keep you updated. But for now, we're gonna have it like this. So we can call this part one. But I will be working on an upgrade here. So stay tuned and you will see more updates on the node system and also new things that are coming in this tutorial it take it took me a long to create this because i had a lot of errors because i'm experiencing i'm experimenting with this so for now i think it's gonna be very good working so how you create new node is just simple dragging it into the world and setting new node for for example and if we press play and we we are the second one we can and this works you can also change the font you can change everything here and if we go if we run from it we if we run from it it's gonna remove itself so this works perfect so thank you guys for watching this is a little bit longer episode i hope it's worth it and see you in the next episode bye